YouTube analytics tells me that most of you who watch my video are young men between the ages of 18 to 24. Four years ago, I was in this bracket and I remember life being hard in general, especially dating. In this video, I wanna share with you guys the best dating advice I've ever received. Hi, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Matty, I'm a male model, physiotherapist and fitness enthusiast. But before we begin, this video is for people who want to date seriously. As someone who was raised in a Christian household, I've always dated with the intention of finding something long-term, finding my future spouse, my future life partner, and therefore monogamy has always been important to me. If you're someone who wants to date around, sleep around, mess about, then this video probably isn't for you. There are other channels out there with videos that are gonna be more appropriate to your quiet taste. However, if you do decide to pursue that path, realize that you probably won't find happiness, you probably won't find true love, and you're gonna be doing the same thing for a long time. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the heart of the video. So the first bit of advice is that looks do matter. You've probably heard the phrase, never judge a book by its cover, and you shouldn't judge people by appearance, yada, yada, yada. That's what people say, and it, kind of is true to extend like once you get beyond that exterior once you meet a certain looks threshold but in the initial stages your looks matter your attractiveness matters you must work on yourself going to the gym eating healthier getting a skincare routine leaning out dressing more appropriately for your age now these are all topics that i've already covered on my channel so i'll leave a link in the description below that you can find these videos covering how to get into shape what gym workout to do, skincare routine, how to dress, etc., etc. Because even though personality is most important in the long term, looks will get you through the door, at least initially. Your physical attractiveness and how you look indicates your health and the quality of your genes. So if you haven't put any effort into bettering yourself and into your appearance, then don't be surprised if you're not attracting the opposite sex, if you're finding it hard to date. The second bit of advice is to have purpose in your life. I know this sounds kind of counterintuitive, but when on a quest to search for your future wife or your future life partner, you've got to make sure that that isn't your main purpose. You've got to have other things going for you. The main focus can't be the search itself. Believe me, because I've been there. I had a short period of my life when I first started online dating. It kind of took over my life. I spent so much time on the app, I spent so much time and money going on dates. I lost vision of my true purpose. A lot of this time could have been spent working on myself, on my business, and working on my YouTube channel, on my future career, instead of being on the app all the time, messaging people. Also, if you go on a date with a potential partner and they ask you what you do, and you turn around and say to them, I'm just on the app, so I'm wife hunting. That kind of sounds a bit pathetic and isn't really a good look. You've got to have other things in your life, other things that you're passionate about. If it's your career, your job, if you like to travel, if you even if you like to go to the gym and keep fit, if that's your passion, do you know what? That's your passion. The third bit of advice is to date one person at a time. Now, of course, in the initial stages, if you're talking to a few different people, trying to get a gist of who you want to go on dates with, and if you go on maybe a few dates with different people, that's okay in the initial stages. I found that when I've been talking to multiple people, when I've been dating multiple people, it can be kind of overwhelming and you forget things that one girl has said and even worse, you might even say, oh, was it you who had said this and so-and-so? And they say, no, that wasn't me. And you're like, oh, in your head, you're thinking, oh, that was the other girl. But obviously you don't say that out loud because that just makes you sound like a dick. You're texting almost constantly and on your weekends, you barely have a moment for yourself because you're going on dates on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And because I'm quite a traditional guy, I pay for everything on a date when we go out for meals and drinks, as a gentleman should. It also costs a lot of money. Psychologically as well, if you have this mentality that the grass is always greener or that there is abundance, even though there may be abundance, you're never gonna feel satisfied with what you have, right? You're always gonna be looking for the next thing, looking for someone more attractive, looking for someone who you might have more chemistry with, someone who you might get along better with. I have a really good friend who was on the apps for a while and he is also a model, he's also an actor, great guy. He actually met someone on the app and he said that she seemed amazing, but he kept on swiping. 
And as a result, it didn't work out with her. And after a few months, I remember catching up with him and he said to me, I really regret just swiping. I really regret having the mentality of the grass is always green or there's something better out there because I could have had something really good with this person. And that's really upsetting actually, because of course, as he's my friend, I want him to find his love. But the second thing is the fact that he had something that could have been good and he carried on swiping. That makes me really sad. And I'm sure that makes you really sad too. If you are talking to multiple people, if you're seeing multiple people at the start, try and narrow it down to that one person that you think you have the best chance of having something long-term with. The fourth bit of advice that was really useful was be your authentic self. Now, I know this gets a lot of flack and people say that it's blue pill hopium, one whatever, and yada, yada, yada. I see a lot of influencers saying that you should pretend to be someone else, act cool, act nonchalant and really masculine and don't let your true emotions out. <laughs> Gay! And to an extent, they are kind of correct. At least when you're trying to get to know someone gradually and naturally. In the long term though, they are wrong completely wrong. There have been times when I've been on dates and I pretended to be someone else, someone who I'm not, like a cooler, more nonchalant version of myself, where I radiate black cat energy. And it works for the first few dates, but eventually it gets exhausting. You break character or the person who you're dating sees through it and things don't work out because maybe they're not attracted to your character, your personality, which is totally fine. It is much better to be yourself to be authentic pretty much from the beginning. Of course, you wanna withhold everything all at once because that can be overwhelming. But if you're true to yourself and you're authentic from the start and you release that slowly and you get to know the person gradually over a period of time, that shows that you're dating intentionally and you're looking for a more long-term thing. Your forever person will like you for who you are despite your quirks, your OCD, or whatever issues you have, they're gonna like you for you and they're gonna see it as quirks. The fifth bit of advice that was most helpful to me was to not lose hope. I'm 28 years old now and for most of my life, I've not been super successful kind of finding a girlfriend. I've only had two girlfriends in the past in my entire life and one of them is the one that I'm going out with now. And only very recently do I feel like I'm going out with someone who I think I could have something long-term with. In the dating world, there are lots of women and out of these women, only a handful are going to be attractive to you. And out of these attractive women, only a handful are going to possess the qualities or the, the good characteristics that you would want in a future long-term girlfriend or spouse. And then out of these, only a handful of them will be compatible with you personality-wise. Then for them to feel like they are your person, for you to have that connection, that chemistry with, that intense chemistry with, for everything to just click, well, that is just super rare. So these things can take time. You're gonna have to wade through a lot of mud to find the gold. I can't tell you how many bad dates I've been on or how many dates that I thought would go somewhere that didn't. I'm telling you that your forever person is worth it. Finding them is worth it. Everything that you have to go through to find them over however long it takes is worth it. Have patience, take your time, and don't lose hope. Now, I sincerely hope that you found this video useful and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.